In this wasteland, I am the one who runs from both the living and the dead. A man reduced to a single instinct. It is by my hand! You arise from the ashes of this world! A. B. N. It's headphones nailed! guys welcome to a quick review on headphones nail reviews for a movie that i had seen some years ago around the time when it came out but um i keep hearing by a podcast or host that i like that it is probably the greatest movie he's ever seen so i decided i would or i figured i would give it a rewatch and see if it holds up see if i like the story um i didn't think it was a bad movie at the time and i didn't remember enough of the story to make a decision one way or another so I decided to give it a rewatch. Um, in this case, it's Mad Max Fury Road, and I decided to watch the Black and Chrome edition to see if that makes a difference. I did watch it in color originally when it was released, so I wanted to see if maybe the Black and Chrome edition changed my mind, makes it better or worse, um, see how the story holds up, and um, generally just give a review there. So. Watching it in the black and chrome edition, overall I want to say it was probably the better version of the film. The color version was fine, but all the scenes were more dramatic and it was I was able to see all the attention to detail, detail that they spent in the film, like with um, Immortan Joe and his little colony with the water, the um, war rigs, um, his children, his warrior guys, um, Furiosa, and... Um, her arm and her makeup and all of that so everything felt a lot more dramatic and while it did feel over the top in the whole um, transport with the music kind of felt kind of silly for some reason it worked better in the black and chrome edition and it felt like a better sense of a post-apocalyptic world where um, each town was is uh, producing different things and they have to trade with each other in order to survive and it is a thing where they have to announce that they're coming otherwise they might go to war over each other and that trade is now limited to um, as far as your vehicles can travel um, in order to get there and back and then of course you want to perpetuate your um, self as the leader and the only way to attain salvation survive and that sort of thing even though um, subliminally they might not necessarily believe you. So as far as the greatest movie in recent memory, I don't know about all that, but I did find that the movie was entertaining. It was a good time. The uh, couple of hours went really went by really quickly, so it didn't feel like um, a slow movie. Even the downtime with um, individual conversations like between Max and Furiosa, between Furiosa and the wives of Immortan Joe, um, felt good and well paced and timed and all of that. So, in general, the movie is a good movie. Um, so, if I was to grade it, I'd probably give it about a B plus to an A minus. Um, there's not really much that I can say bad about it, but it does feel like they're setting up a that they could have set up a new Mad Max universe. So. We have the original Mad Maxes back in the late 70s and early 80s with Mel Gibson, so um, with the guy who played Max this time, it feels like they could set up a new Mad Max film and explore, even if they remade all the original Mad Max films, they could make it more modern, recreate the color and black and chrome versions, and generally just make a good, a good series of films based around um, Mad Max and um, new scenarios. So it's kind of like the show on AMC, um, and I'm drawing a blank now, but you have the different barons who control different things like gas and water and fuel and things like that. I forgot exactly what besides the um, fuel, but they trade with each other and they have a tenuous relationship, so the only way to preserve their dominance is by taking out other um, barons. So this is what it felt like and it was portrayed very well. You're thrown, you have a brief introduction which 
is was the right amount so it doesn't didn't feel too short or too long. Uh, Max is given a purpose um, and it leads directly into the movie so you're left w wanting more world building but not left entirely out in the dark as far as what's going on. So definitely a film worth watching. So for me I would recommend watching the black and chrome version so for some reason it just it generally just felt better of a film in black and white versus color and not to say the color version is bad but um, for me the film stood out more in black and chrome and was more dramatic and generally just worked better so I'm glad they released the black and chrome version and not to say that the color like I said not to say the color version was bad but for some reason watching it now it stuck a little stuck in my mind a little bit better as a film that was well done and that they paid a lot of attention to detail to the characters to the makeup to the costumes locations even though it was very minimal of locations but um and you know half the film takes place on the war rig and in cars but overall you get a good sense of the world this post-apocalyptic world that everybody is living in so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments concerns feedback or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is headphonesneal.reviews for our past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff and of course i am now on instagram at patel n01 so um, I'll be sharing some more pictures and things like that. Um, I didn't necessarily miss it because I did have an account up until a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm seeing if um, I can pick back up on that. So if not, oh, oh well, it was a good test run, but um, easy to remember. So Instagram and Twitter are both at PatelN01. And of course, you can support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01, where you get early access to upcoming content, both episodes, um, background on things like the upcoming meetup, which um, everyone still has time to um, RSVP for if you're interested in and getting access to that link. Um, there will be at least one more uh, preview video as far as um, updates and um, what's going on and as far as the meetup and the plan for the day. So um, that can be found at patreon.com slash pateln01. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode. That's all for this time. And until next time.